Hey guys, I am Venkat and this is part 1 of Azure tutorial for beginners. In this course, we'll discuss everything you need to know to build, deploy and scale applications using Microsoft Azure. As you know, cloud is everywhere. It has completely changed the way businesses think about IT resources and software solutions. Organizations of every type, size and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of use cases. Even individuals like you and me are using cloud and cloud services on a daily basis. Azure is a cloud computing platform from Microsoft. Initially, it was called Windows Azure, later renamed to Microsoft Azure. It is an ever-expanding set of services to help you build solutions to meet your business goals. It offers a wide variety of services. For example, we have virtual machines running in the cloud for you to host and run your software, storage services to store all sorts of data, relational, non-relational, etc. Software development and deployment services, networking and data analysis services, artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, etc. The list goes on. When we think about moving to a cloud from an on-premise data center, two immediate things that come to our mind are security and availability. How secure is my data? If you're thinking your applications and data are more secure in your own data center than in the cloud, you are almost certainly mistaken. Security and privacy are foundational for Azure. Microsoft is committed to the highest levels of trust, transparency, standards, and regulatory compliance. In fact, if you compare Azure with other cloud service providers, it has the most comprehensive set of compliance offerings. As of this recording, Azure has over 90 plus compliance offerings, the largest portfolio in the industry. Every year, Microsoft invests over $1 billion in security to protect customers' data and apps from cyber threats. 95% of Fortune 500 companies trust their business and data on Azure. As far as availability is concerned, for most services, Azure promises 99.9% .9 uptime and connectivity. Even with our own on-premise data center, it's very difficult to achieve such a high availability and uptime. Now, many people think Azure is only for Windows apps and services. That's not true. Azure supports open source technologies, so you can use the tools and technologies you prefer. As of this recording, one in four Azure virtual machines run Linux. Why? Because Azure supports the open source technologies millions of us already rely on and trust. With Azure, we have choices. We can develop, deploy, and test open source components end-to-end -end in Azure. As an example, Azure offers enterprise-grade support for all popular Linux distributions, run new and even existing business-critical workloads in the cloud with Azure Marketplace. Almost anything that can be done with a conventional on-premise data center can be accomplished using Azure. Actually, it opens a world of possibilities and helps us build solutions that we wouldn't be able to build with our own on-premise data center. Azure has a series of data centers across the globe, so we are able to take advantage of that global reach, massive scale, and build solutions that otherwise are practically impossible. In this course, we will start with the basics of Azure and discuss everything you need to know to build, deploy, and scale applications using Microsoft Azure. Before you start this course, I strongly recommend to watch our Cloud Computing Tutorial for Beginners course. In this course, we've covered all the basics of cloud computing. I'll include the link for the course in the description of this video. I'll do my best to cover all Azure-related concepts. But in the meantime, if you have a specific concept in mind, 
that you want me to cover, please leave it as a comment on this video and I will surely cover it in our upcoming videos in this series. Finally, your feedback means a lot and trust me, it is your feedback that keeps me going. So if you have a few minutes, please let me know your thoughts and feedback on this course. I'm really excited to take you through the journey of Azure. I hope you are too. That's it in this video. I am Venkat. Thank you for listening.